begin tonight with a behind the scenes look at the search for a local special needs teen who has been missing for a week now. I'm Clay Loney. And I'm Shay Rossi. At five, we told you Joseph Gomes never made it home from school last Tuesday. Fox 23's Jonathan McCall is live in Jinx with concerns from his family. Jonathan. Every moment that passes by, Shay and Clay, is a concern for volunteers and for the family of Joseph Gomes. In more than a week, they say he has not had medication. That's concern number one. The biggest concern they, they, they do have is that they've received no tips, no clues, or any type of information on where Joseph could possibly be. Does he expect your child to come home from school? Horace Willens is still waiting for his son to come home. He's 17, but still he's a special needs kid. And then being so, there's certain things that he doesn't know how to do. Joseph Gomes was last seen Tuesday afternoon at Jinx High. According to Jinx Public Schools, Gomes spent the entire day at school, but somehow never got on the bus to go home. Wellens tells me that he's now worried that his son, who has special needs and takes medicine for it, could be in danger. It's like a rock in your stomach. It's, you're powerless. You can't do anything about it. You know he's out here somewhere. We've already distributed, what, several hundred? Oh. Monday night, volunteers with the group Bridging the Gap were out looking for Joseph, something they say they've been doing nonstop. Each little pink line is a track where someone's run through. Without a single clue, volunteers hope as the word gets out, the tips will start to come in. You never know if this one poster is the one that, you know, somebody drives by and looks at and says, yeah, that kid looks familiar, or that's where your lead develops from. And Willens says that he has reached out to Jinx Public Schools to see if he can take a look for himself at some of the video from inside of the high school to get more answers about what may have happened to Joseph last Tuesday. Also, we've learned from Jinx Campus Police that his information has been entered into a national, national database, I should say, just in case he does pop up somewhere across the country. Law enforcement agencies will be able to notify them. Tonight on Fox 23 News at 10 o'clock, hear more about a call that Willens says his family received from some Someone, possibly Joseph, after his disappearance. Live tonight in Jinx, covering news that matters. Jonathan McCall, Fox 23 News. Jonathan's also chilling. We hope his family gets answers and finds Joseph soon.